Yo, how's everything going guys? My name is The Quacken and today we are at Worlds of Fun. This is our first park visit to this park in, well, almost two years. Uh -huh. It's been a while. It um, has. This is the goat coming to you live from KC. Oh yeah. And this is my wife. Quacken. Just, <laughs> You know, I think we're gonna roll with that. I like it. <laughs> you know, I, that's your name now. Comment down below if we should call her Quackette from now on. <laughs> All right, so we're in line for Timberwolf, and let's just oh, say we are off to a great start. The yeah, they're, they're stacking trains big time. They just now opened the air gates and the train just hit the final brake run. I love them ops, man. This is going to be a Six Flags day. Stack train ops. Stack train ops. Yeah, there we go. So, we just did Timberwolf, the Din wooden coaster here at the park, and, you know, that wasn't that bad, honestly. No, it's actually better than I remember. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty smooth. A uh, couple of decent airtime moments. Definitely more lateral focused than, yeah, for sure. from my experience. But there were a couple points where uh, there was some tight turns where I definitely felt, oh. You know. Yeah, you get thrown side to side pretty good, but... Um, but not too terrible. Yeah, not... Not, not too terrible. But it was a little bumpy, but overall still pretty good ride. All right, we're about to get on Mamba. Um, this ride was in my top 50 uh, at the end of last year. We'll see if it stays there. Definitely my favorite. Yeah, we'll see. All right, we just did two back-to-back -back rides on Mamba, the park's Morgan Hypercoaster, and you know, I had always said this is such an underrated ride in the past. Um, no, not anymore. It's pretty much what everyone was saying. It's uh, The first half was actually pretty good. Um, second half, not so much. Um, the I would actually say I actually preferred this in the front row. Uh, we did this once in the front and once in the back. And the front, that first airtime hill, gave us a sudden jolt of strong floater airtime. I was not expecting that at all, but uh, I would say this 
probably definitely a front row ride, but still, the trims on the mid course hit way too hard. You don't get any air time on the return run, which it's okay. Yeah, we just did Mamba. <laughs> what do you think? Well, kind of what you said. The first half's pretty good. Yeah. The second half's like, eh. Yeah, eh. It was okay. Wee. Basically, yeah. It is a speed machine, and that helix is pretty forceful. Yeah. So, um, but I don't think it's a top 50 coaster anymore. Um, I'm going to have to adjust my rankings after this. So, uh, definitely not as good as I thought it was, but still still all right. Okay. Hey, baby. You want some of this? Snake. <laughs> mm. We're at a Cedar Fair park. What is this merchandise right here? That's... There's Green Lantern, Aquaman, Batman. It's so stupid. The Cedar. What is this? Six Flags? Yeah. The, yeah. This is not a Six Flags park. All right, we just did a back row ride on Prowler, and I changed, is, I changed my mind. This is now my favorite ride. Absolutely, it's fine too. Um, you know, it, it wasn't that rough. Um, I had some really good. I did. I did bang my leg, my shin though. Yeah, had some good floater pops. Uh, really good ride. Love it. Alright, so we just did Patriot, the B&M Inverted Coaster here, and how was that? Pretty mediocre B&M very, Invert. Very solid. Very solid. Uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a fun ride. It's different. Um, again, again. Uh, I mean, if, if the line lane. wasn't too long, uh, we we'll definitely would try. Yeah, if we had fast lane pass, I'd definitely ride again. Yeah, I mean, but we don't. I definitely prefer... Uh, Raptor at Cedar Point and Banshee yeah, over this. Those are, but those are both fun. Nope. Those are both much more intense yeah. in my opinion. That one's definitely uh, more graceful. And I love not... the part never like it goes, it goes over the station. Yeah, That's yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. It has some cool interaction with the station there. and It's a pretty good ride. Um, I'd say probably number three at the park. So not sure what we're going to do next, but we'll figure it out. All right, so I got two hours till the park closes for the night, and it's time to camp out at Prowler the rest of the time.
Okay, so that's gonna conclude our afternoon here at Worlds of Fun. A very fun day. Interesting way to end the afternoon for yeah, sure. Yeah, that snake. Yeah, so what happened was we were next in line to get on Prowler and then the ride delays because there is a snake on the transfer track. We think, so, it, we think it was a, a black rat snake. Yeah, so it wasn't a poison snake, but for obvious safety reasons, they uh, delayed the ride to get the snake off of the transfer track, so. I don't know about you, but I don't want to get bit by a snake. No, no, I'm, I'm good on that, so. Yeah. I don't feel too good. Yeah, it, I, I hate snakes, first of all. If there is one thing that I hate more than anything else, it is snakes. So, I'm glad they took care of that, but I ended my coast riding day for, with four rides on Prowler, and it is officially the best ride in the park. And shout out to the ride operator at Prowler. She's super cool. Um, yep. uh, get they're, a big thumbs up for me. They were me. all super cool, honestly. Yeah. I'd say the operations were pretty good for the most part. The exception of the weird way they load on Timberwolf where, yeah, that's kind of strange, but uh, overall, it was a good day. Uh, we're going to be heading out. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to be heading to next when it comes to parks, but uh, we'll... Maybe Texas? Maybe Texas for Labor Day. We'll see. Um, but I have no idea. However, um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.